the derby, the blue ribbon of the turf and the biggest thrill that racing can offer. Here's a general view of the course from an unusual angle, showing the famous Tettenham corner and now down the straight to the stands. Every class of spectator, every type of vehicle, though the donkey barrow has given way more or less to the baby car. Countless thousands pack the rails, many of them using the coaches in which they've come as improvised stands. And who can guess for a moment how many of the birds here will be plucked, or the number of mugs that'll be broke before night? And is there any other flat race in the world that gives us half the kick that this one does? Let us take you across the famous Tattenham Corner, and to this, three hours before the race. And from the bushes, a panorama view of the thousands of cars and coaches lining the, the rails round to the Grand Stand. Here's something we didn't want. At least on Derby Day, it's just started to rain. Fortunately, it was fine when their majesties the King and the Queen arrived. Princess Royal and uh, Lord Harwood. They were followed by the Duke and the Duchess of York. Five pounds to one of these you want two, three, number fifty-five. Happy Bob to 20, the favourite and the number's 56. On the derby, on the derby, on the derby, long prizes, long prizes. Six dollars, you meet what? You meet what? Tell about the five. And two nine one. dollars wins the land. Would you like seven dollars? Two nine one, two nine one. Wins the land, seven and a half crowns, 27. And the first horse is Tiberius, which is followed by another of Sir Ray Bailey's horses, Valerius. Then comes Primero, which is followed by Admiral Drake, with Medieval Knight next. Colombo, the favourite, is here, and next Alisha, and after that Badrudin, both of them the Aga Khan's horses. After that we have on top, and after on top, Rathmore. Rathmore is followed by Windsor Lad, which uh, is well favoured, and, and then Fleetfoot, an outsider, and Hornsey Rise. And next comes Patriot King and Easton, another fancied horse. And then the pride of the Chilterns, and, last but not least, Bondsman. Here they come, all in a bunch, right down the straight. 
It's a hell of a fine race. When's the lad wins? Lord Willington's Eastern second, and Lord Glenelly's Colombo third. What do you call this bloke here? Here is the Maharaja of Rajput Lad coming to lead in his horse. The winner, with smirk up, has led to the unsaddling.